This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy, Netflix, Gamefly, and the Dignation Cursing Police. Those mother- <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have <laughs> flies in your freaking house? I know this in Southern California. In Southern California, and I have fruit. You <laughs> put zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Welcome to Dignation episode number two. What? I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website dig.com. D I double G dot com. Kevin Rose, 200 episodes. I am, I am, almost I am, I am. four years, if not close to four years. We have done the calculation. Beers consumed? A thousand. Take a guess. Oh, you, you actually did? Did the calculation. Okay. Uh, beers consumed. Well, Oh wow! Multiples of two hundred. How many we had here? Couple episode, couple an episode. Twelve hundred and thirty-eight beers consumed. Oh! oh I just made that wow. up. Wow! Good calculations, up. Brainiac. I just made that up. And speaking of beers, we're super excited. Michelob has decided to sponsor our, uh, uh, to supply us with beers via sponsorships for our 200th episode. Cool yes. on them. Thank you for Michelob. So we decided to pick our, our, our two favorite beers, our individual favorite beers from the, uh, sp it was the spring sampler, right? Right. The spring sampler. Mm -hmm. Mine is uh, sort of surprising to me, the Hop Hound. You're not a hoppy guy. I know, but I love me the hop hound. I don't know why. Mine is the honey wheat, and I'll tell you why. When you sip this beer, the honey wheat and its golden nectar goes down your throat. God, look at it that. is the most amazing. Look at, look at that. that beautiful beer. No, that's all right. But look at the amber ways of grain. Cheers. Dude, this tastes like a honeysuckle when you when you when you drink it. It does. It Pretty does. It, no, seriously. The, and and hop hound. It is not. It's not bitter. It's not. It's mm. just the right amount of sweet v bitter. Um, but also check out Michelob.com. All of our uh, tasting videos are up there, which is awesome. Oh, man, I love beer. I know. Yeah. I love me Us and Christy beer. down when, in. Where's in, your beer? Especially when it's summertime. It is oh, summertime. Ben's got the shock top. Shock top. <laughs> a little shock top bridge. Like we had, actually had a beer. I, I know. I know. Too. Look at that, dude. Everybody's doing it. So Perfect. also Michelob is on Twitter at Michelob, right? And the really crazy thing about this is they answer everybody's Twitter. So if you're at a bar, you're having some Michelob, and you want to know something, how, what glass should I have this in, blah, 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 at I, Michelob. I think this is a really cool... It's a great uh, idea. It's a great idea because how many times have you been like a bar bet and someone's like, oh, and they'll probably talk about all kinds of beers and stuff, right? You can ask them any question you want. Yeah, uh, well, I'm sure. Related. Yeah. They're going to know about beer. <clears throat> So um, yeah, check them out, follow them, and uh, use them for your beer bets. My mic is all screwed up. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's because I'm wearing this cool Thundercat shirt, I like the shirt, but it's thin. Mm. So trying to clip a microphone on it is not I think super just, easy. How does he sound, Glenn? I did. Was that good, Glenn? We're like, we're like, <clears throat> we're like episode 200, and we're like, why are we high quality? Why, what, what's this microphone doing? Yeah, yeah. Who's wearing a microphone? Are you wearing a microphone? I'm not wearing one. That's awesome. I love it. Mm. So anyway, thank you, Michelob, uh, and we shall yes. enjoy our beers. Um, it's a nice... We are in San Francisco. Yeah. We are at my house. This yeah. is a different couch, different location in the mm. house. Mm. Uh, same color walls as last time. Mm -hmm. I did not paint them. They were pick. Uh, they were pre-painted. Pre-painted. Uh, Prager is wearing his festive 200th episode shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in San Francisco. I have a couple of Hawaiian tip shirts. Oh, I figured like... might as well wear one. In San Francisco, hot means. Is that a man? Movies. Is that a man fishing on your shirt? I'm yeah. just curious. You know why? Because it's hot. We were just giving Pegger shit for wearing his, his shirt early before the show started. <clears throat> it was I, hot. It, I was sweating shirt. on the street, and I was wearing this. I got a little chode fire going on, Ooh, which is nice. Chode fire. Yeah, we walked for lunch, and I was like, hmm, my grundle's burning. <laughs> Chode fires are the worst. Dude. I had a chode fire. I felt like I was in Beowulf. My grundle was so excited. I had a board meeting today <laughs> and I had a slight kind of right chode fire I, where, the, where the chode itches and like you're in just a Just on one side? Of, just one side. And you're in a meeting with like a bunch of other people and I haven't had jock itch since I was in like like 12th grade or something. Back when you were a jock. <laughs> right. Like back when I was playing sports <laughs> yeah, and actually yeah, yeah. active. And so I was thinking like, oh God, wouldn't it suck to get jock itch again? Have you guys ever had jock itch? 
No, like the clinical jock itch? Like, like where you get like... <clears throat> like scabies. I don't know if it's scabies, but your jock just itches like fucking mad. Yeah. Have you ever had that? No. Glenn? No. Prager? <clears throat> You've had jock itch. Uh, Prager looks like somebody... Yeah. Like, yeah. to get like the gold bond. Yes, stuff, and yes. Away, like, a day. Right, exactly. Yeah. But it is like pure hell. It's the worst thing ever. It's hands on hell on it's earth. It's basically your entire crotch is on fire and burning and oh itching. Oh my God, that sounds horrible. It's horrible, dude. It's horrible. Anyway. I'll tell you what I have had. What's oh, that? Oh no. no I won't <laughs> oh, what is it? What Glenn, I'm excited. Had? No, I haven't had anything. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You hippie motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you probably Nothing had little, some like hemp hair or whatever that is. But a little hemp oil can't kill No, dude, that'll put that anywhere. <laughs> Oh man, uh, I should get some hemp oil for my chode. Anyway. Shall we get into the show? Shall we get into our first? Uh, and here's the thing, we're gonna cover some stories, we're gonna do a uh, you know, usual episode, but then after we cover our sponsors, instead of doing a last episode or last uh, story, oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk a little bit about our, our 200 episodes and we're gonna have a little bit of a montage -y look back. Yes. The so, ubiquitous 80s montage. Bring out the Kleenex, you might shed a tear for this. Yes. Um, One to say, a couple things. Okay. You didn't even bring it up. I want to bring it up though. Oh. You uh, launched your iPhone app finally. Went yes. Out. Freaking awesome. Thank you very I much. I downloaded yeah. it. Yeah. When we shot, uh, when we shot the episode last week, uh, I didn't know if it was going to go out because it hadn't been approved yet. Mm -hmm. um, it was. A, it, I have to say, hats off to Apple. First off, it's called iLick. If you want to check it out, um, you can just download it. It's iLick. Uh, I L I C K, but then also if you search for my name or Dignation, it should pop up. Um, but Apple, completely smooth process. Do you know how it's doing so far? No, don't know. You don't get the stats for like another week, right? No, the or stats are going to be. I, I'm going to say in the next month, I will know because I kind of feel like it's only been a day. I think at one point, uh, you know, it, it launched yesterday, right. and I think it's number 62 on the uh, paid oh, list apps. Interesting, interesting. But I don't know how it recognizes that because it's a little, I mean, it's Apple, it's, so there is a little bit of that like. It's 24 hours of downloads <clears throat> is what it is. Oh, okay. Well, in that case. two is good, dude. If you can break the top 100, that's, there's, I mean, you know how many apps there are out there? It's yeah, insane. yeah, yeah. Let me see here, not... I'm trying to find it. Oh, it might be under entertainment. Oh, so you go entertainment? Yeah. I wonder if you can do a, you can't do a search on uh, just like a F. Like an F. It will, but that won't show you what it's ranked, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. Anyway, uh, check it out. Yeah, so it's I L I C K. Uh, but yeah, no, it's fun, and I have to say, it was a really fun process. So it's kind of a little bit of an experiment. If it does well, um, maybe doing some more in the in the future. Have uh, I have an idea that I think will be. Whoop. Yeah, I'm glad to see you doing Epic. some new, new projects. It's fun, you know, and, and uh, my buddy Jarrett wrote the program and um, <clears throat> got me involved and it was really fun. It was actually really, it was sort of like, I remember being a software developer and like testing stuff and I had like the beta version running on my phone and like showing people and getting input and it was, it was pretty fun. It was a fun process. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. All right. Shall, Shall we? we? Again, the first story of the day. Yo. First story of the day. Mm. John Madden finally calls it quits. One thousand nine hundred eighty-eight people dug this story, uh, submitted by Third Dave, the former coach who has been a household name in sports broadcasting, announced today that he would be retiring. This is sad. Is, this is sad. This I is a big deal. I love Madden on Monday Night Football. Everybody loved John Madden, and for, first off, John Madden really was the person who blew out the football video game. Mm -hmm. Madden was what really took football video games to the next level. I mean, you had like your Joe Montana football, which was great mm -hmm. on, I believe, either the Sega, not the Sega, uh, Genesis. Genesis, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. Love that game. But John Madden was the one who really took it to the next level. Yeah. Madden is still the ubiquitous football game. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. I think that, <clears throat> um, and I, I don't know, I just really, uh, he wasn't in every game, obviously, that was, that was being broadcast in the NFL, but it was fun, like Monday Night Football. To always know when you tune in, you know you're just gonna have him here. You hear that crazy? <laughs> he would break things down a little. I actually too met him. You know? Simplistic. What's that? I actually met him Where? when I was a kid. Um, they did this like football tour, like CBS Sports tour or whatever. And there's a picture of me and my dad with John Madden. Hmm. Huge dude. Really? Yeah, oh, super big dude. Yeah. Well, he was like a linebacker. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but yeah, you're right. There was something homey about flipping on the TV and, and just, knowing you get to see her, that guy. And know? it was it was cool that he would just break down kind of like, you know, the, the he would break it down to where my mom could <clears> understand <throat> football. Yeah, but still be very technical about it. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like still be very clinical about it. Well, it felt as though like... <laughs> he, a very blue-collar approach. Yeah, blue-collar blue approach. approach. That's good a good way to put it. Right. Uh, 
Fiesta. <laughs> that would be your Fiesta outfit if you had like an action figure, a Prager action figure. He's never gonna wear that shirt again. Summer outfit. No, it's gonna be I burned. Had this shirt <laughs> in college. Wow. And I've worn it like three times maybe since I graduated from college. I love it. <laughs> Which Come was on, 10 years ago. Look at that, no. look at that shirt I brought. Oh my Not, god. Jeez. Did you plan to bring that? It was in the car and I brought it in. Okay, Glenn. For no reason, Glenn. Did you really, would you really wear that shirt? No, nah, probably not. <laughs> what, why you why would you bring it? Why do you own it if you wouldn't wear it? It's festive. Oh, it's festive. Is okay. this some holiday that we're missing out on? Like, is, I know, is it Hawaiian Day and I'm missing it? <laughs> like it's Hawaiian Dignation Day? Yeah, and it's not that hot outside, people. You Let's. Better be kidding me, I'm sweating bullets. It is well, hot it's outside. Not, oh, dude, it's not LA hot? How hot is it in LA right It was now? like 97 oh, shit. in LA. That. But then again, we have AC in the bitches. Yeah, that's nice. Dude, my AC was pumping. Anyway, it's sad to see him go, but and you know what? Here's the thing is, I feel... Like, the older we get, and I know this is going to sound completely logical and everybody's going to go, yeah, but it's weird realization. The older we get, the more stuff that we see is just the way the world is, is going to change. John Matt, when you turn on football, John Madden's on. That's not going to happen anymore. Right. You know Brett what I mean? Brett Favre's not playing anymore. Brett Favre, the guy, you turn on and it's your guy, <laughs> you remember when he's a rookie and it was like, yeah, you fucker, yeah. Oh, I know, dude. You know what I mean? Like, Every it's weird. All mind. this stuff is changing. Yeah. And then guys like Zac Efron are like the... <laughs> You're the, right, you do sound really old. You're like, all this stuff is changing. <clears throat> well, no. Kids are in the dude, darkest I, things nowadays. I like open up a People <laughs> magazine. I thought, I consider myself fairly hip as far as entertainment industry goes and what's going on and all that stuff. I'll open up a People magazine and I'll be like, I have no fucking idea who these people are. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, there's lots of young up-and-comers, dude. It's crazy, man. Anyway. Anyway, all right, so uh, farewell Madden and Favre. Sad to see you guys go. Yeah, if, if Kevin didn't own this place, we'd pour a little out on the carpet. That's right. But he owns it, so we can't. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. It's also a wood floor. It's also wood floor, so it's even worse. Uh, all right, next story. New Zune HD details emerge. HDMI, multi-touch, wireless sync. After leaked pictures of the Zune HD appeared Saturday, more unconfirmed technical specifications of the device have now emerged. Microsoft's new portable media player is set to go neck and neck with Apple's iPod Touch as the specifications of Zune HD make it a viable contender. Now, it has been a long time since we talked about the Zune, mm -hmm. right? It has been. It's been... Uh... Almost a year, maybe. Since the new version of the well, Zune, we the big brick. To say. We, well, we, that's we, the we, thing. We had rumors I, about... Sorry, Glenn. <clears throat> about a uh, an iPhone, uh, a, yeah, like about a, phone. a mobile phone, yeah. mobile phone. So here is the picture, the leaked pictures of the new. Can you blow that up. Zoom. I don't think I can blow it up because it's is, just. A that little... does not look leaked. That looks like someone photoshopped that. Okay, good. Click, click on leaked pictures, or is that going to an ad? Uh, no, I think it's going to PC World. Let me see. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, look at that. Zoom really just new iPhone. Let me see. These the, are per, un where are the pictures? I, it could very well be. Um, but anyway, so the Zune HD mm -hmm. uh, is going to have, uh, it's going to feature multi-touch, OLED screen, 16 Ooh, by 9, oh, yeah, nice. 16 by 9 aspect ratio, will have a TV out port, HDMI out from the device. All right, I'm just saying, this is, this is pretty good. It's Coming in 16 good. and 32 gig versions. It'll also support wireless sync with the computer, which the Zune already does, oh, which, okay. is, which is great. Uh, um, so the PMP will actually support uh, <coughs> 3D Xbox games. Hmm, what does that mean? I think it means that it'll be able to run older generation Xbox oh. games, which is huge. That's big. Those games are in the third big dimension. quality. Yeah. Games in the third dimension. Nice. Uh, it's actually going to have an NVIDIA chipset in it. The Tigra chipset. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, and 20 minute. Web line. browsing, uh, uh, multi touch web browsing. They don't say what kind of browser it will be. But the speculation. Explore mobile. Well, that's it what they said. Well, uh, uh, but they actually have said that there's speculation that, the, that it will actually be running Windows Mobile. Oh, Microsoft. Which means that it could theoretically. Well, what, what else would it be running besides right. Windows Mobile? Right, it's Microsoft, exactly. so of course it's going to run their mobile operating system. Yeah. But Windows Mobile, mobile 6.5 looks like it's going to be incorporating a lot of the new stuff. So the question is. One, too little, too late, and two, what would need to be in it for you to get excited? Okay. So the question of too little, too late, um, 
I guess the, those questions go hand in hand, right? Because right. there has to be something, th something there, some feature there where I'm just like, holy shit. Right. Well, first of all, I think the, 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 the market for a standalone device that is not a phone, right. I think that it, it, that's gone. I agree I, wholeheartedly. I that was can, what I was going to say. I don't think I'm going to have my iPhone <laughs> and then be like, oh, this portable media player is also so good that right. I have to carry that along with my right. laptop that already has a badass screen and freaking right, right, HD. Right, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, 100%. If that was a phone. Right. And it had a better UI. I don't like the UI of like white Helvetica over and over again, like for choosing options. I like graphical icons. Well, it like, does have graphical icons as well. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the PS3 interface where it's like white icon yep. after white icon yep. and you're just like, eh, the I, bar. I get that it's clean. <clears throat> Yeah, and that it's light, but it doesn't really draw me into the OS. Yeah, and the Apple, the Apple uh, uh, iPhone definitely with with its its sort of candy colored buttons. It's it's really cool. I mean, when it first came it out, it was like candy colored buttons, but it does. When you pick this device up, and I think that's the intangible here is: am I going to pick up the Zune and just want to be playing right. with it? Look at that! Look at the the screen on that. Like right, the music, videos, games. Right. Does that make you want to jump in and spend no. an hour on that device no, figuring it, it out? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. But then again, I wouldn't need to spend an hour figuring it out. I just hit video if I want to watch videos. I hear you, but I, I will tell you, wireless damn, sync, wireless sync is is a big big deal. I have uh, an iPod plugged into my um, uh, BMW, mm -hmm. and I ne I just rarely ever take it out and sync it up. So I've got like a bunch of music on it and right, some right. podcasts, but they're not up to date. But with wireless sync, you can literally have it connected to your car, pull the car in, and because it's close enough to your wireless network, if your computer's on, it just starts syncing. That is freaking cool. If your iPhone, when you walked into your house, automatically started syncing. My battery life would be dead, but yes. Well, yes, I know, but you know what I mean? Like, I hear you, like, <clears throat> trust me, like, there's nothing I've wanted more than to be able to like pull your car into the garage or uh, around the front side of your house and have it start sinking. and have it start sinking all of your stuff that yeah. you download on your computer or whatever. So but it's got to be a phone. Is there anything else that, that you can think of? What? My phone kind of the, the iPhone kind of does that cuz like you know I was at the gym the other day and I was on on Pandora streaming some stuff cuz they have wireless at the gym. Yeah. And I was like running the treadmill and I'm like, "Oh, dude, I love this artist." I jumped onto iTunes Bought the album, it downloaded the entire album, and I'm sitting there listening to the album. That's true. I was like, damn, that works perfect. Yeah, no, that is definitely, that's definitely it, true. I like their integration is pretty good with the ice, with the Apple Store. And eventually when you get back to your computer, it, it <coughs> moves those songs back over to your computer. Yeah. Anyway. Do you think there's anything else? I mean, it, it looks good. I'm going to check it out, obviously, um, because well, I like to keep up to date. I mean, like, I'm looking into getting a Palm Pre when they come out. I, I mean, I want to keep myself hip. This looks like it's a little bit larger screen. Yep. OLED screens, as we know, are phenomenal. They're beautiful looking screens. Much Looks like there's a camera standard. on the back there. Looks like there's a camera on the back. The other thing I will say is like, as, as far as being a leader in the portable movies space, like getting yep. rid of those DVD players that you see yep. that people take on airplanes and stuff, yep. this looks to be like the king of that space. Right. How big is that space? Not very big. People nope. have their, their laptops, they have everything else, right? Or you fly Virgin like I did up here. It's the it's device is in the back seat of the thing. Right, you know? exactly. So anyway. Anyway. Well, good. Let's see how it goes. Yep. Next story of the day, the Pirate Bay trial, the official verdict, <sighs> guilty. Bam, bam, 12,043 people dug this story submitted by Frexia. This is pretty insane. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> basically, these guys are going to be hit with, I believe, I should be clicking through in the article, but I believe it's a half million dollar um, fee, judgment against them, per person. Yeah, fine. Fine. And a year in jail each. Ugh. So where did the trial take place? That sounds like nothing to me. What? Dude, I don't want to spend a year in jail. I don't care where it Everybody is. Everybody has always wanted to spend a year in jail. Uh, you have never wanted to spend a year in jail. I don't want to spend a minute in jail, I'd let spend, alone. I'd spend like three months in jail. Because yeah, you'd start doing like meditation and getting back to grounds. No, you'd get shivved. <laughs> you wouldn't do meditation, no, you'd be bum I think, just, I think it would just give you a little bit more perspective on things. Yeah, perspective on being shivved. The you go, you know what? It doesn't feel good. Well, she went to fucking Croc Betty Crocker jail. She didn't she go to jail, jail. How fucking pimp would that be if you were in, in jail with Martha, Martha Stewart? Because you know she's making like the bomb ass dishes. 
what I do, <laughs> Martha Stewart Glenn. Sorry, this is not the appropriate. <laughs> no, oh, no, this is the appropriate show that that's appropriate. About Martha Stewart. If this is the appropriate. This is the appropriate show. So um, I can't believe you asked that question and <laughs> answer it. Uh, no, I would not. <laughs> oh man, I'd say yes. You would do Martha Stewart. Why? How would you not do Martha? You want to spend a year in jail, but you won't bang Martha Stewart. Do you know how many conversations you could start? You'd be like, what did you do last year? Oh, I went to prison. Oh, that's interesting. Please tell me about your experience. Did you get shivved? No. What did you do last year? I had sex with Martha Stewart. What? How did that happen? What was it like? How is she in bed? Like, there's so many stories. Did she cook while it was happening? <laughs> I mean, there's so many things, you know? I was having sex with her and she was changing the drapes. I just can't see, like, uh, it's almost like your mom in a way, though. No. Yes, Martha I mean, Stewart's so mom-like, you'd be like, oh, she's Martha Stewart. Bro, Martha Stewart. <laughs> just saying. Oh, shit. Fiesta, there would be some, Fiesta Prager, you Fiesta Prager would do it. What did you, what'd you think? think? What? Well, yes or no? Yeah. No, see no, or no? No, you have to say yes or no, Fiesta Prager. Yeah. Yes or no about the Martha Stewart question? Yes. yes. Well, no, I have no interest in... in... Martha Stewart. Yeah, totally. Amazing. Oh. She was in prison. <laughs> All right, so Pirate Bay guys. Oh, those uh, poor guys. Well, I mean, poor guys. They kind of were dancing around the law, like, look at us, we're not really breaking the law, though. Everybody, including us, knows that we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, we're guilty. <laughs> right, totally. I mean, I, it's a little what? bit crimey river. It, it's so funny, because like, there's, there's a bunch of people that are like, I can't believe this happened, but come on a little bit you know what i yeah. mean like trust me if there's anybody that loves the pirate bay and their services we are fans big fans but at but the end of the day are, yeah, we but, know what it is it's they the know what it is pirate bay yes it's not like you called it like you know fun free file place fun free file it, place it's the pirate bay purely legal kitten shop <laughs> <laughs> <Totally. laughs> you're like where did you get this torrent no purely legal kitten shop and people would be like oh. oh they must have kittens there you yeah know, you wouldn't think pirate right That's off the pirate, bat pirating torrent site on an island uh so <laughs> i anyway. know dude i know at the end of the day you knew what you're getting into we're sorry that you have to go to jail. Hopefully you won't get shivved. But no, at the end of the day... there's worse things than getting shivved in jail, my friend. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't want to do any of those either. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of along the lines of the same thing. You're getting shivved, but yeah. What? By, yeah. Ah, uh, oh! Ah, yes. There are definitely, yeah, there are definitely worse things to get poked with than shivs. There's different types of shivs. <laughs> when you're in, there's different types of shiving. I love right. it. Um, anyway, yeah, well, good luck to them. Did they say anything about when they're going to do their time, where? Oh, shit. Here it shows each person. And who, uh, Peter. Dude, a million bucks almost. Yeah, he was $905,000. They all got hit with about a million. Jesus. Oh, my God. Look at these guys. I didn't. I, I never saw the pictures of these guys. So guilty, one year in prison. One year is not that bad. Bro. Come on. Oh, 30 look at seconds. Bass goatee. That, that fucking That's going to come off. <laughs> I don't know. One year is not We're appealing. that bad. I don't know, dude. I had a buddy do uh, three years, and he even then was like, dude, I got fucking buff. And he was ripped as shit when he came out of prison. He worked out every day. You know, you eat protein, you work out, read a couple books, and hopefully not get jumped. And, like, that's the end of the day, you know? Yeah, but that last part is the part that's really important. <laughs> well, he was right? big going in. So. Yeah. That's all they feed you is protein. Yeah, you could a lot of good that. whey protein. It's, it's interesting. Anyway. Well, good luck to them. I'm sure their pretty little Dutch faces will do well in jail. <laughs> that's oh, horrible. That's horrible. Okay, right. next story. Uh, super excited about this. Hulu app coming soon to iPhone. 1,934 people dug this story, submitted by a story girl. Reports say a mobile application for Hulu is on the way that will let users watch full TV shows and movies on their iPhone over 3G or wireless. This is huge. So they've been reporting, I mean, of course this is all, you know, reporting. it's all BS until something happens. But but this is a big deal because they say, um, they say that it's gonna be over Wi-Fi and 3G. Dude, mm. 3G streaming Hulu. is gonna look like shit. It doesn't matter if it looks like <laughs> shit. I don't care if it's like bah, 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 bah. To be in an airport and be able to yeah. not have to crack out your laptop and just pull out your phone. No, I And instead it. of stumbling through Twitter or checking your email or your Facebook or whatever the hell you do quickly on the phone, you just pop into Hulu and do, oh, last week's 30 Rock and just sit there and watch. And plug That's into the power outlet because it's going to suck the shit out of your back. Well, yeah, but dude, that is sexy. It is cool. 
Especially <clears throat> considering that they're going to have wireless on, and I've already used wireless, I'm sure you have too, on airplanes. Yeah. You can yeah. just sit there and bam, bam, connect to wireless, Hulu, watch it right there, anything you want. That's huge. You've That's been, you've been huge. watching Lost? No, I haven't been watching Lost. Can I tell you uh, what happened? No. Okay. Because <laughs> we're going to wait and then we're going to do, I'm going to watch all of it in one go. How far are you into the season? Uh, none. Oh, dude. I know. I've heard it's good. Dude, sometimes. I know. A lot, a lot of things happen. this. Just remember that. Okay, I'll remember that. Okay. And then when it happens, I'll and be then, like. And then like, little kid, ah. Just remember that. Okay, I'll remember it's that. It's fucking horrible. It's good, though. And then Ben kills somebody. No, I'm just kidding. He does, actually. <clears throat> well, no, I know, Jose? but it was just like, you kept getting slower, like, more and more specific. So, like, don't tell me anything. You're like, all right, just whoosh, remember that. And then, oh, and then this guy that we all know as Sawyer is like, oh, but I'm, that's it. That's all I'm telling you. Okay, and then Kate stabs somebody in the face. I'm not telling you anymore. I'm not breaking my coven. Is there it's a like, graphics and spoilers, spoilers? Let me, let me say one thing. Oh, all that was fake. Let me just say one thing. No, no. No, no it's not going to spoil it. You'll, you'll be, like, interesting after I say it. Ready? You find out more about the smoke monster. Okay. Interesting, isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. It's good. It's good. I'm fucking with my mic. Is that? Are you picking that up? Why are we messing with our mic so much this time? Because they're just. It's on wearing t-shirts. Don't rub your mic like Can that. Can you hear that, Glenn? We're gonna be in prison. Okay. All uh, right. Well, Hulu, big deal. Very excited. Can't wait for the iPhone thing to come out. I didn't even watch the last on Hulu. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, let's. Uh, thank our sponsors real quick, and then we will do a little retrospective. Sounds good. Go, <coughs> Daddy. Is it okay if I start? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> if you want to make an impact online, GoDaddy.com has what you need with .com names as low as just a dollar ninety nine, plus world class hosting, fast and easy website builders, and much more. If you enter the code Dig Five, that's the number five after the word Dig with two G's. When you check out, you will save an additional ten dollars off any order of forty dollars or more. Now remember. Some restrictions apply, so you're going to want to see the site for details and get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. Very nice. Also, thanks to Netflix for sponsoring the uh, episode of Dignation. Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles, including lots of Blu-ray titles, free shipping both ways to your home. They now offer over 40 shipping centers, so you get almost every delivery in about one business day. Netflix plans start at $4.99 as a member. As a new member, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial membership. Check it out. WWWs are important. Dot Netflix.com slash Dignation. And I burped up a lot of my Dude, lunch. I just saw a movie that you need to get on Netflix if you haven't seen it yet. It's really good. It has to do with prisons. Uh, prison movie. Prison movie. Is it like a fake prison movie? Uh, Lara! <laughs> what was the prison movie we watched? Shawshank Redemption. You hadn't seen Shawshank oh, Redemption? Have you seen that? That's no. from like the... Yeah. That's no, from like 1812. Oh, oh, oh. Should have won Best of in 1995. Best picture. It was awesome. Dude, Shawshank Redemption. It's streaming. What did you think? And your neighbors did not get mad that I screamed. Oh, good. Oh, she screamed right but, in the middle of the freaking movie. And I got shot at the end. It was unexpected. Oh, yeah, was that's unexpected. not good. It was and unexpected. screaming is bad. And it was like, it, it was, yeah, I don't like <laughs> Now we're going to spoil this movie. We're like spoiling everything. <laughs> But you can watch the streaming on Netflix. Yes. Live yeah, Netflix. Netflix Watch Now. Uh, Xbox 360. Yes. All right. Gamefly. Gamefly. Big thanks to Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers your choice of over 6,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds, including consoles like the Atari 2600. Ooh. Did you know that? I did not. That Very nice. Oh. Uh, when plans start at just fifteen ninety five a month, Game Craig is members... like, shit, please tell me they have that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Game Five members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as you like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. And once you're done playing the game, you send it back to Gamefly and they send you the next available game on your list. It works very much like Netflix does in that way. If you really like the game you're playing, you simply click keep it on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Now, Dignation fans get a two-week free trial when you go to www.gamefly.com slash Dignation. Uh, some restrictions apply, so make sure to see the site for details. Very nice. Also, did you see the latest episode of uh, Dig Real? Episode 67, <coughs> Andrew went down and actually visited the set of Mythbusters. Nice. What? It was awesome. They talked about the, the video where they shot the rocket at a car. They showed Andrew behind the scenes uh, of the show. Go to revision3.com slash Dig Reel and check it out. New episodes of Dig Reel comes out on Monday. One out last thing that is not a sponsor, but <coughs> I wanted to mention anyway. Um, I finally oh, got... Oh, that's the thing. I finally got my T uh, starter kit online. Uh, I'd been uh, threatening people for a long time that I was going to put together a little starter kit for people looking to get into T. 
Uh, samovarlife.com slash Kevin. Nice. Uh, three T's and a strainer. Ooh, three T's and a strainer. That sounds like a sitcom from the 80s. Uh, all right, Kevin. It's been a good run. It has. It's been a good run. This is our last episode. 200 episodes in the can, and that's it. That's all we got. We decided to call it quits. Mm. Just kidding. No, why would we do that? We it's so much fun. We love beer way too much to call it quits. It's too easy, breezy, beautiful. What was your favorite live show that we've done? I will have to say. <clears throat> over the last 200 doubt, episodes. 200 episodes. I really enjoyed the episode that we did um, at South by Southwest. Because yeah. There was a lot of people that came out for that episode. It was that really was good. definitely the craziest and my dad experience. Was there. Well, that's, I mean, that in and of itself was awesome. The, yeah, the South by Southwest was definitely the craziest experience in the way of, uh, was that mail coming yeah, through no. the mail slot? It was crazy. Um, like the craziest experience sort of overall of like outdoors, mm -hmm. huge crowd, super fun. Um, my favorite live show. I definitely enjoyed the Reno episode. The early ones were fun. <clears throat> The early ones were really Remember fun because they were really it, we like the, the small beach ones. Chalet. Yeah, the small ones Dude, at the Beach Chalet. Do, you know what would be fun? And I, I, I don't want to say this because then we're obviously not going to do it. But we're, <laughs> we might do it. But wouldn't it be fun if we just got a small bar and said 100 people can come out, yeah. do a really tiny, intimate show. It'd be fun. And just like have another really small, fun show again. Yeah, because it, it, it gets a little, I mean like. Well, it's impossible to go out and meet everyone and just like chill. And we try. And I don't like, know. If you were at the South by Southwest show, I mean we stayed for like an hour, two hours, well, more than an hour, like two, two and a half hours after the show, just meeting everybody, saying hi, well, taking pictures, but yeah, with but that it, many it's, people, it's hard it's to so sit down and have hard. a conversation yeah. for a long time with the fans, and I think that's, um, <clears> you get that like that two minute, really enjoy is, like, yeah, you, sitting down and talking to like all these other totally. geeks. Because we're all there because of the same thing, we all yeah. freaking love technology, and we're all geeks, and it's all fun to like spend some time and chat with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was your favorite uh, uh, non-live location? I really, uh, I really enjoyed the episode where dude. we went up to Alisal, or was it Alisal? Where you and Prager drove up and met me at that uh, ranch. I don't remember that. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. And I was there, my parents were there. Oh, you didn't go, it was Keith it was, was Keith. there. Uh, dude, you know what? That uh, was really fun, at the horse ranch with uh, Heather's family and my family. That was fun, that was fun. But my favorite one um, was Japan, dude. Oh, we got Japan, Japan was the first. Japan was really the first. I, like, this. wow, we could go do anything we want just for fun and still get shows out of it. You know what I mean? My legs fell because there's no <clears throat> live audience, and I was on the ground. Oh yeah, yeah, there. yeah. My legs fell asleep, and I was just like, "All right, they're asleep." By the end, I had to wait three minutes before I could walk. That was so much fun, and we were like, "Where are we gonna shoot?" And we just found a place on the street. Dude, we had the craziest stuff in Japan. I went to this bar, and I don't know if you guys got the same drink. I can't remember. But we got, I got a beer that was half tomato juice and half beer. Do you guys remember that? We went to this bar and like it was half tomato juice, half beer, and then there was like a straw, and like I was like sipping some beer and sipping some tomato juice. Oh, that sounds horrible. It was not horrible. It, it does. Oh no, she's saying that's normal. I think that's normal. Yeah, you have you been to Japan? Oh, we went to a bar outside of the show, and they. Oh yeah. To me. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember going to that crazy ass Sin City themed bar? Oh yeah, that was weird. There's, that was epic. It was, was weird. There's all these stripper girls on the stage. Remember? Yeah. It was they were fun. like canning them in dollars, and they like. I remember that. I think I saw the pictures to prove that. So do I actually. <laughs> that that actually happened. That's weird. It was really fun, and we had that really great meal up on the top of our hotel, and it was way too expensive at the time because oh. none of us were making money. And it was just like, are we really gonna do this? It's still fucking expensive. I know, it was like 2.30 a person or something, it was wasn't like, it? It was like, it was crazy. We didn't even want to convert the, the- We didn't even do it. We were like, la 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 to, la la la. To US dollars. It was like, it was like a half million dollar, <laughs> half million yen. And we knew like, what we love, love and how often do you have the chance to have real Kobe beef in Japan? Oh no, it was oh, great. You know, we're like, just do it. It was lobster and it Kobe was, beef. Wow. And then they had that earthquake. Oh, wow. While we were, we were up there. there. That was weird. We were like sitting there, like having dinner, and all of a sudden everything's like, uh, I hope we don't die. We've gone to some really fun places. I mean, just even the international stuff. Like, I'd never been to London until we did a London episode. Never Amsterdam. been to Amsterdam until we did that. Amsterdam. Oh, that's my place. That's Glenn's place. Yeah, that's Avi's place. Dude, Glenn disappears for hours at a time when we're in Amsterdam. I have to say, that was Dude. very funny. When Glenn came back, Glenn was just sitting there in this cafe, and then all of a sudden he was like, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And literally half hour later he comes back, and he's like, uh, yeah, I just, I just started to freak out. And we're like, <laughs> what does that even mean? No, no, I just need to get out because I just started freaking out. That we were in this place. You thought you were gonna have a heart attack. That's right, dude. Like realistically. I remember talking to you about that. 
Oh, God, uh, So man. much fun, I dude. hate when that shit happens. Every once in a while, that happened to me, too, and I'll be like, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. You just think, like, have you just ever had, like, you exercise too much and you get, like, heart palpitations or anything? You drink too much coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I, I get that once, well, like, once hear, a you year. You can, like, feel it in feel your it, like, chest. Feel like, 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 skip a B or something. Yeah, and you're like, whoop. That should have been two. What was that one? Jogging. That's a. And you were like, not jogging. I was jogging and I was like. I was jogging. Like, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I want to be around friends. So <laughs> I have a heart attack and fall on the ground. People are like, oh, "This is okay." I love right, it. Totally. I love it. I love it. Well, anyway, uh, as a special treat, uh, we've put together a little compilation of scenes from the last 200 episodes. Dude, Tiki Bar TV episode. Remember that? The where we talked about Tiki Bar TV. We were on the freaking Tiki Bar. Oh, we shot at Tiki Bar TV. Oh my God, I totally forgot about that. Uh, of course she's going to chime in. I, I totally forgot about that. I can't believe that. We shot. The ice came out. Do you remember the ice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when we shot, out, we shot at CES? Do you remember that? We shot out front of E3. There's so many different shows. Uh, yeah. We'll have to do like a little montage of all the different places we've shot. But yeah. anyway. All right. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this little montage. We'll see you guys at 201. We're doing this our first podcast. It is. Well, let's welcome each other. Yes. Each yes. Other. <laughs> let's welcome each other. Hello there. Uh, I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Um, you may remember us from uh, way we back did a, when. A show of a, some sort, a didn't we? A TV we? show. Oh, now, this God. week, yes. we're in Toronto. Hell yeah, baby. Dig Nation, of course, covers all the weekly top stories on the social news technology bookmarking website thing that we like to call dig.com, D-I-G-G.com. That's right, it's a social bookmarking web technology thing. Yeah. Whoa. Hey dude, we're on TV, again. Nice. That was such a short period of my life. It's time the turkey's out and it's, oh, hi there, I didn't hear you guys come in. I've been helping kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to cook that turkey and, be hey, I didn't hear you guys come in. I was just helping Kevin prepare this lovely feast that we like to call the first annual Dignation Thanksgiving Feast. How's that turkey coming, Kevin? It looks edible. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming along great, Alex. I just got done slow roasting this turkey over a wood-based fire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That is fucking hysterical. <laughs> we're coming to you from Japan. Yes, that's we're right. In we took Tokyo a whole, right now. That is correct, and we are coming to you from the lovely Alisal Ranch in Solvang, California. So we are at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. If you're wondering why this looks so weird, why you hear so much background yep. noise, yep. we've got like 50 people out here. Yeah, we got uh, the, the fans out here that we fans, can't uh, really hear us because we're... They, they, they're there looking, they there is one, there's one. There it is, see? There we go, see? You see, they're there. That's, and we they actually, just can't hear us. But, uh, so fun chill for them. Time. All right, moving on. Wait. You put zombie and you put theory in the title, and I don't want to do it. Theory zombie. We are here in Reno. Reno! Yeah, baby! And we're here at E3. I'm assuming you can get E3 stuff in the background. Yes. I didn't check out the framing. And, and there's some work. people who came there's out There's some say people hi. here, yeah. Say Thanks hi. for coming out, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. There's not beer. Oh. Hello. Welcome to Dignation episode number 50, our one year anniversary. We are here in La Jolla, California. Yes. We are here for Comic Con. Yeah. And as you can tell, we, we were kind of pulled into this really random bar. I don't know what, what? where we we're, were. We were walking down the street. And we were like, uh, where should we shoot Dignation? I don't know. Where even are we? Where and we there is a uh, tiki bar. And all of a sudden, this weird doctor character yep. grabbed us by the collar and said, Hey, why don't you shoot it on my little bar? I'm afraid that this week, Kevin and Alex won't be able to shoot Big Nation. We're at Macworld. We are at Mac yes. Yes. World. Mm. What if I could have hot stewardesses? Dude, this one? Yes. You got it. You when you have, have all the electronics lighting, and there's purple mood lighting. Light. Oh, lighting, the mood you know lighting changes. Dude. So they can like, make it all sexy like. <clears throat> yeah. We are in Palo Alto at the Apple Store. Yes. And the iPhone is coming out uh, tomorrow. Yeah, we are currently <laughs> in my couch. Sonoma. That's right. We are at the Infineon Raceway in Sonoma, California. Uh, here in front of, uh, this is, I believe, Danica Patrick's uh, Indy car. And we are here in the fair London, England. Yes.
We are here at one Jay Adelson's house mm -hmm. in the lovely oh. north of New York. Hello! New York! Woo! Hello and welcome to Dignation, episode 164. I'm Hippie Glenn. And I'm David Prager, a.k.a. Prager. Oh, that's right, Kevin. We're here in San Jose! We're here in San Jose! Now we are here, as I'm sure you can see, and probably also hear, because we are literally shooting the show in a fully functioning brewery, Michelob Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. So cool is that now that we're in this like new trend this new seven shot thing mm -hmm. yes you can actually zoom in and take a look at the glasses right now oh yeah and the, click in the little picture of me oh, with the glasses and now you can see me so boom. this is his uh, these are his uh, uh, German glasses mm -hmm. uh, mine are Italian oh, so take a look at Alex now. a little, little clicky click very nice that was pretty quick oh well the car made it that's a good good sign <laughs> He actually invited us in his house. It's we were sitting cool. on his, his mother's couch, which very is very comfortable. Uh, very comfortable. And it has really a lot of, lot of pillows. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Fallon! What is up? How are you? I feel like we should like cheers or Honor, shake yeah. or hug cheers. or cheers. Know. Cheers. cheers. This is great. First this is official great. Dignation uh, so, guest. I'm honored. Right. We are in Austin, Texas right now. That is right. South by Southwest. 